Say hi, Porter. Hey. Say hi, Gray. There's that an alligator. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. Good afternoon, you guys. We just came outside because it is surprisingly warm. Although this is like the last warm day, it's gonna get cold and even yeah. snow. Shockingly, I don't even know what I'm looking. I don't even know what I'm looking for over there. Um, been kind of crazy couple past couple days. I really haven't picked up the camera in a few days. Um, just cause, I don't know, there's been like a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, but not very many stuff going on like to vlog about, I guess. I don't know, I'm not really making any sense. So, Gray had preschool today. How was preschool, Gray? Did you have fun? I got an oh, He's more into his chalk, let's see. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see on the camera. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Gray's drawing. He had uh, preschool, like I said. They learned about different instruments, and so they got to play a bunch of different instruments and see like what sound they make. So he um, enjoyed that. And it's Thursday, so he doesn't have preschool till next week. Um, today marks a week until we go on vacation. Um, if you don't know, we're going to Nashville for a day, and then we're going to Alabama um, because my cousin is getting married. So um, the boys are gonna go with Anthony's parents for a couple days and it's just gonna be an adult's trip, which is really fun. So we're getting ready for that. Sorry, Gray stole Porter's wagon. Porter loves this wagon. He just pushes it everywhere. It's really cute. Sorry if I'm like all over the place. I've just been feeling very frazzled. We are gonna go look at a couple houses in the next couple days. We've got one house. Uh, tonight that we're gonna go look at and then we have two houses tomorrow that we're gonna go look at And I think some of these might be promising so we might be putting a bit in I'm not sure um, So I'm kind of like frazzled from that, but we'll see how it goes. What did you make? Bumblebee. A bumblebee? Mm -hmm. Oh wow That's so cool. Uh Oh, is the what happened to your wagon, dude? I'll go get it so um, I will definitely keep you updated. I might just make this a two day vlog since we're gonna go and see houses for, oh, for two days straight. So I will let you know, I just flung this. I just flung the wagon. <laughs> okay, super annoying. So we have this huge tree in our yard. I'll show it to you guys, hang on. So here's this tree, it's a pine tree. And it's got pine cones all on it. Like all these are pine cones. Cat, good job. It drops pine cones all time. Super annoying. And so I'm always having to pick them up. Well, about a week ago, I picked up all the pine cones. I put them in a bag, because it had been like the first time since, um, since winter that I had like picked up all the pine cones, so it was a lot. But once I was done, there was no pine cones on the ground. Kid you not, <laughs> like a day or two later, and we had like a big like windstorm, I guess, or big, rainstorm i don't know and our yard is littered with pine cones i will show you pine cones pine cones pine cones dinosaur pine cones pine cones pine cones everywhere so now i have to go and pick up all these dang pine cones again i swear it never ends i love this tree for the shade it gives us in the summer but i hate the pine cones and the pine needles the pine needles are so bad, let me show you. This used to be dark, like black, and it turned brown because this is all pine needles. It's so bad. They get tracked into the house and then I have to sweep all the time. Um, usually in the winter is when it's the worst because they all drop in the fall. So it's just, I will not miss this tree. <laughs> so anyway, we're just, I'm gonna pick up some pine cones and Go see some houses. So I will definitely keep you updated on how it goes. That's me. Is that you?
morning. Say hi, Porter. Oh, no. Say hi. Say hi, Gray. Hi, Mom. So my parents watched the boys yesterday while we went and looked at a house. And my dad got this balloon from somebody with his airplane or something like that. And so the boys were like, can we have that? And so they let the boys have it. And they are obsessed with this silly balloon. They keep letting it go up to the ceiling and thankfully our ceilings are very short. We don't have any tall ceilings. So no matter where the balloon goes, Anthony and I can almost always get it. So anyway, yes, we are back home. It's the next day, like I said, it's the morning. Um, we went and looked at a house last night and I didn't record any of it. I don't think it's the house. It's really nice. It's in a great part of town. It's huge, it's like over 3,000 square feet. But it's at the top of our price range and with the market and how crazy it is nowadays, you gotta be willing to go like up to 50,000 over what they're currently asking. And if it's already at the top of our um, range, I just don't know. I just don't know if it'll be able to make it work. So, unfortunately, I don't think that's the house, but lucky for us, we are going to look at two more houses today. Um, it's Friday, so we have to wait until Anthony gets off of work, and then my parents are gonna come here, watch the kids again for us, and then we're gonna go look at these two houses. One of them is about middle of our budget, and then one of them is way below our budget. So, we're kind of getting the whole range of different houses just to kind of compare. Now that it's getting warmer, more houses are definitely coming on the market, which is really nice. Um, yeah, it was just fun. It's always fun to go look at houses. So we'll see how these houses go today. Um, one of the houses, the first house that we're going to go look at today, I kind of feel like it's a sign, but I don't know. Um, we, I was looking at their pictures. The house is beautiful. The schools are awesome. And I was looking at the pictures of the house and uh, then it showed the outside of the house in the backyard and they have a University of Cincinnati grill cover. And I was like, I feel like that's kind of a sign maybe because Anthony and I both went to UC. We're huge UC fans. Here in Columbus, there's not a lot of UC fans. It's all Ohio State. And so to see that on one of the pictures, it kind of felt like fate, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, we'll see if, if A, we're interested in the house and B, if we even win it because we are probably one of like 100 people that are gonna come look at this house. So um, we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, it was fun yesterday to go look at that house. It's definitely like, that would be our reach house. So not sure that we can afford that one, but um, it was interesting to see like, what is at the top of our budget? Because since we've started looking at houses, we've only been looking at houses that are like way below. And so um, that was the first time that we saw a house that was like at the top of our budget. So anyway, I'm just rambling. Let me show you the kids because they're way cuter. Share, share. Are you guys playing with the balloon? Uh, uh, uh. Uh. They like to let it go to the ceiling and then they pull it back down. The entertainment of a free balloon. And oh yes, <laughs> Porter's making messes. So I gotta clean that up. Oh no. Oh no. There it goes. Yay, you got it. Kate, let Porter have a turn. Porter just likes to smack it. Okay, Porter, your turn. Smack it, Port. Get it. Yay! That's so silly. That is so silly. So anyway, this is our Friday morning here. Fridays are always very long days, so um, hopefully we survive today. I, I've come to find that Fridays are actually my least favorite day now. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but like, most people love Fridays because it's like the start of the weekend and I hate Fridays. They're the longest day ever, so I hope you survive Friday.